Building horizontal tabs is a staple in some of our pages. We love to use them for modules and services. Pretty much anything we can think of, we love to utilize this. So let's get into the build. First, this is going to be all built on one canvas. So it's going to require a little bit of pre-setup and we are going to be pretty much working from the base. And then as we go, we're going to be building in each of the tab styles and duplicating them for each remaining tab. So first we're just gonna to wanna to create a blank canvas and this will pretty much wanna be pretty big um, depending on how much content you have in it. Um, but so we're going to start with our content container background. And this can be optional. You don't need to um, start with a container. You don't need to um, kind of do it how we're doing. This is just an example. If you wanna do it all one solid color, if you want your tabs different, this is just an idea to get you started and building on and just learning the whole method. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this over to mobile. And now that we have the content container all set up, I want to start kind of creating how my tabs are gonna look. So you wanna keep your layers clean as well. And let's start building in our tab. So first to start, we're going to want to build in how our unselected tabs are gonna look. Um, and these don't all have to be the same thing if you want to kind of dedicate each tab to a solid color or, um, you know, just kind of to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to constantly want to be working side by side with the desktop and the mobile as well. This will just help me when I'm kind of duplicating it later and I won't have to worry about it as much. So this is my tab. And I think for sake's purposes, I'm going to go ahead and make my bases white. Okay. So, I mean, if you want to do it, it requires a little math to get them exactly equal. Um, and then you're going to want to account for our little border. So if you can see here, um, each tab is 301 and I'm pretty sure, yeah, so the last tab is 300. So depending on how many tabs you want to utilize, um, it'll just require a little bit of math with working with 1200 pixels and you can even clip them. Um, I do find it a little bit harder when they're spanned to get them, to get the first and the last tabs to span correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and just start building out my base. So make that 301, make this a little bit bigger. Now I want to create the tab title. One. And because when I want them Oops. When I want them to select any part of the tab, I'm going to want them to grab a click action because I don't typically like to set a click action on the background just because it takes a little bit extra work. If they're kind of changing up the titles of them, a lot of things are going to break. Um, then they'll have to worry about that. Just pretty much your base setup is going to take the longest. Okay, so I am happy with that base and now I'm gonna start duplicating it down the, the line. So I also want to make sure that I am bumping these layers one under, otherwise you end up with a really thick border in between and if that's the style I wanna go for, um, have at it. I could definitely see um, maybe some kind of divider in the middle and you could easily do that with a line instead. 
So I'm just going to bump those up. This is going to be tab title two. Um, and if you want to kind of pre-plan just so you don't have a lot of extra canvas linking, you could always go back to your tab title one and set the click action first. So I know that all four of these are going to be on a canvas, this canvas, and this one is going to be view one. Um, same goes for this one. Now, if you miss this step and say you've already went ahead and kind of duplicated your, um, your tabs and you realize that, shoot, I forgot to do, you know, that click action on this one. Now I duplicated it and I have to do them all. You could easily select all four of the titles. And then over here on the right panel, there is a click actions at the bottom and you can configure all four links. So this kind of is helpful, you know, if you're linking all on one page or one canvas, I'm going to do this canvas. And for now, I'm just going to set it to one, make sure I check off the scroll canvas in reverse, save it. Now, when I go back, all I have to do is just select the appropriate canvas views. Okay. So. There is the base. So let me go ahead and preview it. Okay, perfect. So now, you know, as I'm clicking, even though we don't have the canvas tab set up, we don't have the canvas views, you know, those are linked. Okay. So now what you'll want to do is you'll want to kind to kind of build how you want each open tab to look. So we're going to maybe want an image. Let's go ahead and just add in any image. And you can design this however you want. You can even um, kind of clip the images to the bottom. You can clip them to the side. Um, it's really just, you know, personal preference and love to have fun with it. So um, I'm just going to kind of build it like the sample. And to kind of center these to the content, what I like to do is I will actually size my content container to, you know, kind of what it's going to be. So let me give it some room. And actually, before I go on, I'm going to actually center everything. Okay. So I'm going to lock that back up and you can even do that right here. So if you need to center content on the mobile, then it will kind of clip a little bit better. Okay. Perfect. I could be here all day just rearranging and aligning things. It's very extra of me. I know. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in some base content. Um, this could be, you know, anything for your service title or, um, you know, your manifesto, if you want to do that, your module title, um, your section title, we have multiple modules in one section. Let me move that up. Okay. Um, get crazy. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull some text in from a sample I already have. Okay. And this is a good way before you start duplicating it. If you know that you're going to have a little bit content heavy stuff, um, to kind of look and see how it's going on the mobile. So that way, you know, that you need to account for a little bit extra space or, you know, kind of not having an image here. You can always hide it on mobile, which we can do that so that we have a little bit more space. It's not so long. Um, and then they're having to scroll back up just to click another tab. Okay. So, and then we can always put a, let's put a call to action on here as well. Or you could even put um, multiple titles for service inclusions. It is really so fun just to kind of build these into our pages. And this is constantly something... <laughs> I'm refining as I'm going, just so I know like exactly how I want it to look on mobile, on desktop. Um, okay. So we'll go with this and we don't need to have this content block so big now, so I can go ahead and adjust it. All right. 
So I'm going to look on the preview. Okay, I like it like that. Now we need to build out how our tab selected is going to look. So what I will want to do is kind of copy this one because I know it's going to be the same kind of orientation as my tab title. So I'm going to copy this and paste it back on. So it's not going to look like I did much now, but let me go ahead and adjust my preview. So I'm going to preview it. Okay. I like that. You can even put um, maybe an image right here that's selected. Um, you know, you can do a really fun gradient. I'll see it. That's pretty cool. I could be here forever. Just <laughs> kind of figuring this out. So I'm going to copy that style over here. Um, and in our demo, we kind of showed that you have different tabs selected and they are different colors. Um, so you can choose to do it that way. You can just have one color. So this would be purple. And then when you select it, that would be purple. Um, you can pretty much just do it however you see fit. Okay, so now that we have the tab selected, I have my heading. Now we can start to create the base of the canvas views and the tabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a canvas view and this is going to be titled tab dash one. So that way when we duplicate it, it will have one, two, three, four. So now we can copy this. Let's go ahead and duplicate them. Okay. So now we're going to want to kind of move all of this content within each of the tabs. So I'm going to select my, my tab content. I'm going to select my tab title and my background color. So now once I put it in there, you're going to see the base, but once we have that tab selected, then you're going to start to see everything. Okay. So now you can either do one of two things. You can copy this or you can copy all of this content and paste it into tab two and then kind of do that background again. What I'm going to do just for speed is I'm going to just have the same background for each tab. So I'm just going to paste that style in there. You can adjust images. You can just text. Um, but then we're going to just go ahead and do this for every single tab. So I'm going to select this, select my tab title. It says one. Um, and then go back to, and then paste that style. And these should say three and four. <laughs> okay. And then paste those styles. Okay. So now when we preview it, we should, because we've already linked up those tab titles to the appropriate tabs, now you should have a functioning tab title. So now once you go back, you'll notice that we have these tabs stacked on top of, you know, our base. So that way, once they select the tab, it's going to show kind of our predetermined style. Now, if these were kind of overlaid on top, then you wouldn't be seeing that tab title selected. So that's why you kind of want to make sure your tabs are on the top um, and then you're giving them plenty of space to work with.